dear viewers and subscribers welcome again to our youtube channel max the service please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to receive all notifications regarding any video we are uploading on this channel hi guys welcome again to our youtube channel max the service here we are going to start with part 6 our devop series and let me recall what we have covered what we have done all the session we have covered with programming language and here we have been using java as a core language and for front end we are going with angular and then we also using some kind of basic uh, languages like javascript html css wherever is possible and then we have chosen operating system which is uh, windows and ubuntu so i have been uh doing some installation kind of configuration wherever i need to complete this devops series i have been using uh operating system both windows and ubuntu so then we also covered basic cmd commands okay actually we have to have uh, knowledge of uh, all the commands used uh, with command line interface so we have presented uh, many session how to do with uh, windows and how to do with ubuntu all the commands i have been presented with example you can search maxi service on youtube and uh, go for this session then we also covered version control system which is uh, github okay for that we have chosen github because github is most commonly used uh, github uh, version control system where we have uh, uh, all the repositories all the project uh, uh, there you can clone you can pull push and you can do your own practice and you can also raise some concern if you have you can ask any improvement or whatever you are required there so for container management i have went with the uh, docker at the moment definitely later on we will be working with the Kubernetes and rest of so for dockerization and container management I have uh, Presented a lot of sessions where I have completed all the commands all the basic knowledge setup Configuration how to do where to do uh, everything I have covered uh, Apart from docker swarm so you can also go and watch all the session there and today we have uh, uh, What is and how to set up X? So X is actually our uh, uh, proxy server. So we have chosen uh, Nginx, all the use cases, all the uh, scenarios, roles, features. Uh, I will also present architecture diagram and explain how the components of Nginx works. And uh, definitely we will be enjoying and learning a lot. So let's start with Nginx. So guys in this session we will be going one by one here is the table of content uh, nginx outline i will be discussing one by one first of all i will go through the what is nginx either is it uh, open source or paid uh, which protocol it can be used so what are the reliability websites and kind of application it supports so after that we will also be discussing uh, use cases of nginx in which cases we can adopt nginx uh, like if you want to uh, have a web server we can also consider nginx uh, for uh, proxies either it is a forward or uh, reverse proxy can we choose nginx how can we set up and utilize this web server and for load balancing we will also discuss and we will also be doing some practice how to use nginx as a load balancer if we need ssl tls termination for secure socket la uh, layer or transport layer security we uh, either we can use nginx or not so i will be presenting and with example i will be presenting you in a session I, we will also be using uh, another use cases caching so either we can use nginx for caching or not we will also be discussing this feature as well and uh, apart from it uh, for web acceleration uh, to uh, absorb and uh, to perform with quickly static uh, uh, 
uh, handling a large amount of uh, concurrence uh, connections any resource utilization uh, either we can use or not so we will be also discussing like this uh, another use case uh, most of the time we use api gateway so we will also be doing some practical example how to use nginx with api gateway if we have architecture uh, 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 like microservices architecture then how we can implement all those architecture uh, implementation with nginx we will also be discussing with some examples because we have been working with uh, different uh, services and there are those services how to communicate with each other and how the client can communicate with those service uh, with api gateway and how can those arc services can be utilized with nginx so after that uh, we have cdn content delivery network uh, how we can use that uh, utilization of cdn as well we will be i will be presenting you how to uh, access uh, those content on your CDN uh, content delivery network so how we can access and utilize those contents with nginx web server we will also be discussing security and access control how we can implement and utilize security and how we can manage access control with nginx we have also another use case like web socket how we can work with web sockets it also i believe provide web socket support allowing it to handle real time connection between clients and servers over single or long lived connection so we will be discussing this as well we will not also be discussing i will be presenting you pre practically with the source code where we ha i have been uh, presenting you where we are uh, 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 having our source code on github and i have been sharing with you all those uh, repositories link and then uh, after that like uh, uh, um, uh, like uh, web acceleration we will be discussing uh, application acceleration uh, how we can execute acceleration uh, with uh, for deployment of application on nginx can we use uh, proxy server for email so we will be also doing some practical example after that we will be running nginx as a container so we will be uh, using docker engine for containerization of nginx so after that uh, we will be discussing and uh, i will be presenting you features of mginx like uh, how we can perform high high performance reverse proxy load balancing ssl tls caching web uh, acceleration HTTP 2 support web socket security features access control dynamic move module support logging and monitoring we will also be having uh, logging of the application and we will be using nginx for monitoring those application uh, how we will be having some configuration uh, how it is providing easy configuration uh, uh, nginx so uh, i will be discussing high availability and redundancy feature with this uh, tutorial after that we'll be discussing docker and containerization as we have discussed so we will also be uh, uh, discussing workflow of nginx so workflow in under workflow of nginx uh, what what is installation first we will be doing some installation installation then i will be showing you configurations so then i will be define some server blocks uh, then we have locations uh, because we can configure location within server blocks uh, to define how nginx should handle different type of request including static or dynamic or application specific uh, endpoint so apart from reverse proxy setup we will be doing this like load balancing ssl tls configuration caching monitoring logging security setting testing restart or reload how we can restart and reload what is the different with restart and reload of nginx so scaling with high availability and ongoing maintenance so after that uh, we uh, will be discussing like uh, nginx works and architecture how the nginx architecture works i will be presenting all the co components being interaction with each other and the responsibility and role of each component within nginx architecture 
because uh, the core principle of nginx architecture like it is event driven based non blocking uh, to handle multiple connection efficiently like master worker model modular design and uh, lightweight and efficient so we will be discussing how these features uh, principles works with uh, nginx architecture in workflow uh, how client request and how the uh, it listen to the socket and how worker process start processing and how the request is being processed and how the nginx server response i will also show you how this workflow works in architecture uh, we will be discussing like master processes worker processes modules uh, and key benefit like high performance scalability scalability uh, apart from uh, s stability security and flexibility so all those use cases like web server reverse proxy load balance mail proxy we will be uh, covering in this uh, series so uh, uh, for installation and configuration nginx i will be presenting how to install on ubuntu uh, and also on uh, windows and how we can use uh, uh, microsoft windows and also uh, i will be using some common configuration like how we can edit configuration file how we can define server blocks uh, setting a virtual host enable uh, enable modules testing configuration uh, reload and restart nginx so after that i will be presenting you step by step guide for setting of nginx i will presenting you basic configuration setting of server blocks how to serve static contents uh, testing of uh, uh, all these and verification and also i will present you some bonus tips so i hope you will be enjoying and um, you i will be presenting you as much as uh, possible so please stay tuned and uh, subscribe my channel if you have not and also like and set your comments so that i can understand what you are feeling what you are understanding what you want to learn so that i can uh, improve on that level what you are expecting so i hope you have uh, enjoyed this session and uh, let's start uh, in other session uh, all these table of contents one by one we have discussed in this session thank you okay please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed yet and also do like share in your circle these videos and also provide your valuable comments and uh, i hope you will be liking and sharing uh, so that i will be continuing with rest of the uh, technologies and tools sharing with you thanks